Day 7 Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Purpose. Emptying yourself of the spirit of the world. Examine your conscience. Pray. Practice renouncement of your own will. Mortification. Purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth, and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus, it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concuspience of the flesh, by the concuspience of the eyes, and by the pride of life, by disobedience to God's laws, and the abuse of created things, its works are sin in all forms, then all else by which the devil leads to sin, works which bring error and darkness to the mind, and seduction and corruption to the will, its pomps are the splendour and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places and things. Reading Imitation of Christ, Book 1, Chapter 18 Outwardly destitute, inwardly they were full of grace and divine consolation. Strangers to the world, they were close and intimate friends of God. To themselves they seemed as nothing, and they were despised by the world. But in the eyes of God they were precious and beloved. They lived in true humility and simple obedience. They walked in charity and patience making progress daily on the pathway of spiritual life and obtaining great favour with God. They were given as an example for all religious and their power to stimulate us to perfection ought to be greater than that of the lukewarm to tempt us to laxity. How great was the fervour of all the religious in the beginning of their holy institution how great their devotion in prayer and their rivalry for virtue! What splendid discipline flourished among them! What great reverence and obedience in all things under the rule of a superior! The footsteps they left behind still bear witness that they indeed were holy and perfect men who fought bravely and conquered the world. Today, he who is not a transgressor and who can bear patiently the duties which he has taken upon himself is considered great. How lukewarm and negligent we are! We lose our original fervour very quickly, and we even become weary of life from laziness. Do not you 
who have seen so many examples of the devout fall asleep in the pursuit of virtue, the secret of the rosary. 23rd Rose The rosary is a memorial of the life and death of Jesus. Point 70 The Gospel teaches us that a sinner who is converted and who does penance gives joy to all the angels. If the repentance and the conversion of one sinner is enough to make the angels rejoice, how great must be the happiness and the jubilation of the whole heavenly court, and what glory for our blessed Lord himself to see us here on earth meditating devoutly and lovingly on his humiliations and torments and on his cruel and shameful death. Is there anything that could touch our hearts more surely and bring us to sincere repentance? A Christian who does not meditate on the mysteries of the rosary is very ungrateful to our Lord and shows how little he cares for all that our divine Saviour has suffered to save the world. This attitude seems to show that he knows little or nothing of the life of Jesus Christ, and that he has never taken the trouble to find out what he has done and what he went through in order to save us. A Christian of that kind ought to fear that, not having known Jesus Christ, or having put him out of his mind, Jesus will reject him on the day of judgment with the reproach, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. Let us meditate then on the life and sufferings of our Saviour by means of the Holy Rosary. Let us learn to know him well and to be grateful for all his blessings so that on the day of judgment he may number us among his children and his friends. Prayers Veni Creator Spiritus Come, Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God, most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts unknown, thou finger of God's hand we own, thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power imbue, kindle our sense from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us, drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son, to know, and thee, through endless times confessed, of both the eternal spirit, lest Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, with thou, O holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Maristella. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother, blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name, break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray, show thyself a mother, 
May the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Praise to God the Father, honour to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. Magnificat, my soul, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.